This video chart presentation of Metanor Resources brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Metanor trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange on ticker MTO. It's a technical stock to watch this week. Made a nice move on Friday. Came right back out again on Monday with another solid move of 6.41%. See just a great climb off a of bottom. Around 21 cents all the way up to 43. Set up a definitive resistance point. It's making kind of a cup look. And a cup and handle pattern is a continuation pattern. is one of the strongest, most reliable patterns around. So we're going to keep an eye on this now to try and break through resistance. We'll see if it's going to consolidate and form a handle. And then look for a potential break through the resistance point. Nice recovery. We always talk about retraces. We want to see it hold right around zero. Exactly what this chart did. Making another nice move upward with the MACD. Holding over top of the money line. Similar with PPO. ADX came down. Followers of our charts know. We talk about when it gets near that 10 area, start to look for a reversal again. When it gets down there, the direction had lost all its strength. Now there's plenty of room for it again to start gathering strength coming off the bottom. Leading into this recent move, nice uptrend going on with the MFI. Similar with the accumulation distribution. MFIs, same thing. Everything was showing buying pressure coming into this play. Followers of the CCI use that break of 100 as a buy point. Per definition, it's a hold until it breaks back down through 100. Full snow, basically technically perfect as well. Retraced, held over top of 50, keeping it in bull chart territory, making a higher low. Nice momentum in the play according to the stow. And even the tricks, which is a lagging indicator, came back down, retraced, held right around zero. It's making some higher lows. RSIs, of course they pulled back, so momentum came out of the play. But you can see they held right there around 50. Very neutral position. It didn't completely fall apart, dropped way down here into oversold territory. Held a pretty nice position. Now momentum's coming back into the play. As I mentioned, strong move. Just want to take a quick look at it this way. You can see pulled right back to around the 50% retracement. Held it as a support level. And then began another upward push. Again, technically very sound. And what I'd look for now is, of course, there's bottom support there at 32 cents. The support's even stronger. Up here around 35.5. And, and then up in the area around 37. If you wanted to get real technical about it, you might say 37 and a half was actually the breakout point as this pushed. But again, I'd call that a general area. See the 50-day moving average is registering a 37. That surge in volume that's come a couple days in a row now, breaking through that resistance, all very bullish indications. Any sort of pullback, I'd want to see it hold that 50-day moving average. There is a little bit more right there around 39 that could become a support level, which if indeed this wanted to form a handle through here, that would be great to see it hold 39. With increased likelihood, it's going to try and make another push to take out the top. Of course, that resistance is going to come in at 43 cents. That would be the next breakout point I'd be looking for for this chart to continue some bullish pattern. I won't draw a target on it. You can feel free to look up cup and handle patterns, continuation patterns, and see where technically the next target would be. We virtually never put targets to charts because we don't want to feel like we're trying to mislead people. But so far, since this chart's made this move, broke through some old resistance points down here around 29 cents, it's played out technically very sound. A great chart to watch this week. When we keep our eyes on it from here forward, see if it can take out this resistance point and make some new highs. As always, merely my interpretation of the MTO chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to do a full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.